right about now from legend to legend bringing our next legend does mash up from carnival to carnival 12 months in the year every year show some love for superstar entertainer we call him tommy tommy joseph get tommy a round of applause and feel love in new york city man that is the legend Problem with this stand, boy. It's all right, thank you, darling. You see a lady come to fix the stand, you know? Where's this here? I put on carpet for Tommy anyhow. Pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. West Indian people, nice to be here. Nice to be a tropical paradise. Nice to travel from Trinidad and Tobago and come to the US of A. Let's take some time up there. Sky. Oof. Sometimes the pilot will tell you, you'll go through a little turbulence, and as soon as you hear that, your whole mind has just get different. All the time you're flying, good, you're seeing sky, nice, blue, and the pilot say, put on your belt. And then the stewardess, and she's checking everybody, and then the next thing again, is the service now on every aircraft for you. You have nothing to get in. <laughs> that is why I can't take. I come up with American Airlines. They were serving something called Danish. You know when they reach me, they say Finnish. <laughs> I mean, that ain't nice. But I want to send greetings to the people. Welcome, nice to be here. And there's not really any gift or anything. I'll leave in tomorrow. Hand luggage, suitcase. <laughs> you can't have travel with much thing again. If you have an extra suitcase, extra money. Look at lady, no, I'm she tell me the price too. And it's true, yeah, they're charging everything now. And as a matter of fact, now Trinidad and Tobago, we is the only Caribbean island. Now I, I love all the other islands, eh? We just always make contributions to all the other islands. If any kind of thing happen, disaster, Trinidad and Tobago. We got us a, I don't know what long time. Still in the Caribbean. We just contribute along to under plenty pressure. We'll help you. And we start helping big countries. Some are we even helping ourselves. <laughs> but we helping big countries. As a matter of fact, anybody who here this evening, I know all was next expecting me to be here at this time. I like it to have a box outside there. Yeah? No, I don't want any money. Oh, I'm asking you all. To bring me um, petroleum jelly and Vaseline so we could help Greece.
That one slip out plenty of people's mind, boy, they now. Yeah, yeah, that's how it has been now. Let me tell you all this something about Tommy Joseph. Eh? Out of all the comedians, you find out come on stage and you see the difference in all of us. Everybody have their own styling. Look at this shirt I have on. It have about, look, green, blue, black, but still it have one color. That is the English language. Now it's so we just speak, you know. Simple, simple thing. Now, as a fellow, I don't get rude jokes. I just, yeah, I, I just like to give clean jokes. My jokes are always clean. And here this one, here this clean one. Fella, wake up. In the morning, and he harassing the wife, and rain falling, and what he asking she for? Well, Juke had a song some years ago in the Rukunku Tunkung. <laughs> I don't know if it's right, so that. Mm -hmm. Well, he wanted, right. So he wanted a thing in the Rukunku Tunkung. And then the wife telling him she cannot do that tonight because in the morning she have an appointment with the gynecologist. You know, he waking up and asking she have at 3 o'clock, you have any appointment with the dentist? We was, um, we was in Miami. That was last night. Very popular place. Um, Joyce they sell all them food. Did you know Joyce, right? Well, Joyce was selling tickets. It's a roti place now. Yeah, and Joyce was selling tickets for the show. And a fella called. He said, is this Joyce? Somebody said, yes. He said, yeah, now you have any ticket for row R or row S? He said, no. We only have tickets for roti. All right, okay. Um, thanks for the little laugh still, like, because it's that I just want, eh? Now, some of you get a joke and people ain't laugh. Dying said, look, look, no, man. It's how you speak to people. All of will understand it later. You know, some people, when they leave you and they go on the road, all of you will understand. Yeah, so keep that laugh for me, right? Yeah. When I land in the airport um, when yesterday, you have um, immigration first, and then you go through customs. I was surprised when immigration, you know what they did? Immigration, they put me on that side, visitors. And then they take my watch off my hand and put it on the other side. I said, why? I said, the watch is a citizen. <laughs> As I tell all you again, the English language, boy, is a hell of a thing. Look in Trinidad now is election, and I, since I was small growing up, all the politicians just tell you one thing. On the political platform, they say, my brothers and sisters, we are addressing the masses. And as they get into power, they take out the M. <laughs> That's an election joke, eh? And then now we have modern technology now. That's your next thing, take over. When you reach a certain age now, the children have to help you. Yeah. Come back and man, know nothing about them computer thing. It's everything now is technology. Look, the other the little boy, when Ma asks, where, where Johnny? He said, Ma, look at me in the joint room, playing with the tablet. She said, make sure he ain't swallow it. <laughs> technology, people, everything now www this dot www dot com and all kind of thing now you could have sex online <laughs> as long as you have a hard drive <laughs> and you could be disappointed if you're microsoft <laughs> that's that me you know school on vacation right now people all schools closed but parents start already looking for school books. And you know, in Trinidad, I ain't saying they're not helping one way, but the books are expensive. You ain't getting them free. Look right now, I'm looking for a book for my little grandson. It's a hygiene book, you know. You know the name of the book? Passing Water. 
by IP standing. <laughs> Take a little time to study the book. <laughs> and so sometimes people, I just come on stage and I give me little jokes and when I'm ready, I would come off the stage. Me ain't staying long. Children has asked questions. That is one thing, eh? The children today, they just ask the parents questions now. It's a nice long time. A little boy see mother walking through the joint room. She have on a towel alone. And the towel only covering her two transportation, which is her two buses. But the garage was open. <laughs> and the little boy asked the father, he said, Daddy. The father said, What? He said, Daddy, I can ask you a question. Father say yes, what it is? He said, Daddy, Mommy walking through the joint room, right? And she had one towel. But I want to ask you one question, Daddy. You go answer me. He said, Come on, son, what it is? He said, Daddy, that thing under Mommy Nibble. <laughs> he said, Daddy, what does this call that? <laughs> and then he <laughs> done. Father says, son, it is called that paradise. <laughs> he said, Daddy, paradise. Father says, yeah. He said, Well, Daddy, let's call that paradise. But let us call the one you have. He says, son, I have the key to paradise. <laughs> he said, Daddy, I can tell you something. The father said, What? He said, Daddy, you gotta change the lock. The father said, why? He said, because neighbor John next door have a duplicate. <laughs> you think them children easy people? Let me hear all you say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the long time thing. Everybody used to say that, Marshall Montana. How the music, people, let me just go from the jokes a little bit. Look how the music. Oh, God, look, she and all know too. No, but it's true. If you reach a certain age now, you gotta get out of carnival and think that it's about a carnival now for a certain age group, 65, 70. What your age, I was George at you at 80, you could dance at that of 75. I was George at start off slow, but at the end you could dead. <laughs> and everybody is in the party, say all right. And everybody in the party say all right, all right. And then there's something, and there's something, and there's something, and there's something, and there's something. I need something, something, something. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that is where the deadness start. People, you look at the music and the speed of the music today. Anything could happen. Look at the Jamaican singers long ago. You had the late Bob Marley and them fellas. I think that's Peter Tosh, the late or yeah, Jacob Miller. Dreadlocks can live in a tenement yet. Christopher Columbus is a. You could have, yes, but not now. Boom! Lord of mercy. Jamaica. Boom, the wine, I'm gonna bust them. Boom, boom, boom. Partner, when you're done with that, you're crippled. At your age, you can't do them thing. And if that is how the present generation is now. I listen to them fellas' name. If I want him to name Conscience, but he ain't have none. Because of the songs fellas singing today, people like telling all you from the younger people. Now I'm not saying they ain't good. I did. Now it's them time, eh? But boy, oh gosh, boy. That a dancer that's called the butterfly. At your age, people, you could imagine my grandmother, butterfly, butterfly. Time, five minutes, time, granny wing fall off. <laughs> People, look. Let me tell all you something. Eh? All you got to do now is to live, enjoy your life. Always make sure you have a little money in your pocket. And always, and tell the children, always respect the parents. Because I grew up knowing that. Eh? 
I was in the bank at the time with my grandmother, and the teller talking to she, and whenever I hear the teller telling her, I decided to just leave the bank and go home and put on my mother dress and come back in the bank. Grandmother shock. The, the teller and all, she said, well, that's not it. Grandmother watched me, why you do that? She said, what do you mean? You hear what the lady now tell you? You have to get a male in a dress. You remember the metric system, people? Metric. Kilogram. And, you remember that? Teacher asked a little boy in class, make a sentence with metric. You know what the little boy said? He said, Miss, yesterday my sister went down the road and I was sent to meet her. That is metric, metric. We already listen to the joke too. I said, they come and they enjoy to meet and that. I mean, the kind of jokes I just get. You know, so all of us listen to me too. I know a lady, she have a rash inside the left leg and, the, the, and inside the right leg and spend hundreds of dollars at the pharmacy, all kind of medication. These pharmacies and they're not easy. It always got to listen to her neighbor sometimes. And all that money she spent, I know the neighbor tells she where's the problem. The neighbor asks her, he says, tell me something. Your husband has wear a pair of silver earring. She said, yes. He said, well, that is the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a retro night to a retro. Because we still have, um, it have music still to come, it have DJ, it have all kind of thing. So I had to go back home to go to work, you know. But the only good thing about me, no, it's all right, even though I lose a day, it's no problem. Because where I work, I just work upstairs and the clock downstairs. So I always work overtime. You understand? So it's not no problem if I spend a little time with the people, I tell all it's nice to be here. And um, I want to tell all where I go in and shop, because I've got plenty all you know. You hear them? That means all of them will shop there too. <laughs> and so Trini, you know, they carry down something, well, not me earlier. I ain't telling all of them when I'm going back. But I know when the show finished, all of coming outside, I'm Tommy, when you're leaving, let me tell all of them I'm not leaving now. No, no, I'm telling all of them from now on. I'm telling all of them from now, I'm not leaving. And right now in Trinidad, beside the election, we have cricket now too, that take over the Caribbean. They call it the CPL. Me even know what happened the other day. I know some trainees just picking up. Me even know what happened. Because I come up the road and said, my boy, let me tell you something, eh? You see this cell phone they have these days, so that is something else, you know? You know, my wife called me from, I live in South, and I'm in Port of Spain, and she called me and told me she's hungry. <laughs> I know. I asked whether she's hungry. I mean, no, I didn't bring anything. I thought she would look at the cell phone and then she look and say, you see something Mark menu? <laughs> now, I, I, I don't know I didn't have much time on stage, but when I started to run out of jokes, I just take jokes on them fellas. There's one I hear from Sprang Along, about five years ago. Sprang along to some white fellas going down in a place called Zimbabwe. You know them African place. I think the capital is Harare. And partner, they're down in the jungle. And you know, they, you know, white people have a different way to us, eh? We don't take out pictures of animals. But they do. And they start to snap rhinoceros and the guitar thing. And partner, all of a sudden they hear some noise in the bush. What thing happened is a tribe behind them. And they go, ooh! Eh? Yeah. Or they say white men can run. Partner, them fellas had to run for their life. They run, they run. You know what? About half a mile, one of the white fellas trip and he fall on the ground. And one of the tribesmen get over him, boy, and do, Hooga! 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 Hooga!
The wife was, excuse me, uh, you speak English? He said, yes, I speak English. What you want me to do? You, you want me to kill you? He said, the white man, no, please, just spare me. If you think you joke done there all your life, that was just the beginning. Because they hold all of them, they threw them, and they carry them inside the village. And they meet up with the chief. The chief is everything in the village. Anything he say goes. Pass sentence, everything. You know what the chief tell them? He said, You three white men found guilty. Ask no question. You have two choices. And your choices are. Is either death or bunter. Well, everybody knows it's death, but nobody knows it's bunter. And boy, the first father said, He said, Chief, I go take bunter. <laughs> boy, the man went in the back, and they started here, started bawling. You know, that is bunter, boy. <laughs> Partner, the bunter, the man. When the man come back out, he come back walking a kind of way. Well, boy, men start to get frightened. Eh? The second one, boy, like he, he said, um, what about you? He said, well, chief, what I have seen, <laughs> Bunter. <laughs> eh? People, they came in the back and they burnt him. He come back out like <laughs> the last one he's still frightened. He said, that is Bunta, you see me? He said, Chief, I go take death. The chief said, okay, take him in the back and Bunta him to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, you, you know, after a time with each other thing is something else, eh? Long time I really want to stay out there for the next half an hour. But um, time, yeah, time is something else, boy. Yes, man, a long time when you talk about age and when you reach a certain age. I know a fellow went for his pension, leave home, the wife sent him out, man. And when they get his pension, when the wife do so, see ID, ID card, boy. He said, but what do you hear? When this man will get his money? You know, the man still went and come home with money. The wife said, you get the money? He said, yes. She said, but you can leave your ID card. He said, I ain't nothing wifey. I just open my shirt and I show the clerk my chest. She watch all the white here and she agree with me. She said, why the hell then you drop your pants and take a disability too? <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to hear you say, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to go home? No. Well, you're damn right, but come for election, eh? <laughs> yeah? And you know, people, as I say, when Tommy Joseph started to give jokes, and he run out of jokes, and has borrowed jokes. I heard this one from Donna Haddad. Oh, do you remember? She's a kind of hook nose girl, she knows. Yeah. Donna Haddad. Donna Haddad's a young boy. But with the crime going on, it's not young people they're blaming for all these things that are taking place. People are gone, yeah, young boy. Going in some people's house, take a gun and put it by the woman, eh? right by the temple boy, young fella, you know, and asking the big woman, where's your name? She said, well, my name is Elizabeth. Say, Elizabeth, say, you're damn lucky. She said, why? He said, that was my mother's name. And he pushed her, the woman until she made it. And she said, <laughs> then he moved, he moved the gun and he pushed her away. And what thing happened? He gone by the husband. He said, where's your name? He said, my name is Ram. But the people wrong here just call me Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But just uh, borrow jokes. I just give a little, give a little laugh. And not at my joke, eh? at them people joke. So I, just, I want to advertise any people. Yeah, what she advertise? She says she wants a man. Yeah, the man she says she wants. A man who don't lash. A man who goes nowhere. But a man must be able to satisfy she. People, here we have men. 
if you see application about that height, you have men who married, have the wife and children, and still go behind the wife back and fill out the form. Man who don't last, man who go away, satisfy. Uh -huh. About six o'clock in the evening, the woman here knocking, and she door down says, who is that? It's me. He said, well, I ain't tell nobody, come home by me. He said, no, let me. When the woman gone downstairs and she opened the door, a man in a wheelchair. He said, what the hell is this? You are um, full of application. He said, about five. He said, but you hear what I say? He said, yes. He said, I want a man who don't lash. A man who goes nowhere, but satisfy you. She said, wait, wait. Explain yourself. He said, first of all, I have no hands. I wouldn't lash you. He said, look, I have no feet. I ain't going nowhere. She said, I could understand that. But how you satisfy me? He said, where you feel I was knocking the door with? <laughs> hey, DJ. Give me that shot, ready? Give me, give me. Yeah, yeah. She said, my husband gone away. Ladies. Gone on a holiday. All you. I gone. And then to Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And so we went inside and we hung up. Yeah. And then I hear a motor car pull up. Bring it down, bring it down, everybody. And then she peep up in the gallery. Oh, no, I hear you shout it all out the catch Bring me. the chorus. What do you say? Janet. Janet. Here it is. Janet. Bring it on a little bit. Raise it a little bit. Tell me who is he? You can imagine. In the gallery. Michael David Rudder singing that song. In the cell I had to look. Janet. 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 Sparrow any days. <laughs> Super blue. Oh, there you are, man. Before I go, Leroy, Callis, Black. Oh, yeah, go on. Baby, look at me size, I can't swim. She tell me cover up with a bed spread. And let me sit down on top of the bed, baby. The two legends, the pride at TNT, get Tommy Joseph, another round of applause.